In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Gospel. A reading from the book of John, chapter 5, verses 33 to 36. Glory Jesus to you, O Lord. Lord. To you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you, you may be saved. John was a burning and a shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his life. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Where will I get this? It's only the script I have, Sister um, Tita MJ. In my uh, 365 Days with the Lord, St. Paul's publication, I got it. Okay, today's gospel, no? Today is Saturday, December 16, Matthew okay. 17, 9a, and 10 to 13, okay. verses 10 to 13. Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the son of man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ. The three pointers, Italian. The three pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, in today's Gospel, Jesus reminds his disciples of their need to be aware of God's providence and presence through Prophet Elijah and also through him who is sent by the Father for the salvation of all peoples. Number two, like the Jews in Jesus' times, we too are often not aware of God's presence in our world and in the midst of our daily living. Number three, let us pray for the grace of openness to God's presence and the need to live a more vigilant faith that is more Christ-centered and passionate about the good news of salvation. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. Beautiful okay. messages, no? Three messages of today's gospel, no? And um, uh, what is striking here is the awareness of God's presence, especially the number two, no? Uh, number two uh, pointer, no? Like the Jews in Jesus' times, we too are often not aware of God's presence in our world and in the midst of our daily living. Are we aware? No, are we aware? Uh, are, are we aware or do we do we um feel Jesus' presence in our life? Sometimes, no, in especially in times of sufferings, in times of trials, not you know, in, in times of pain, no, we uh, we we feel like um it seemed like uh, uh our Lord, no, Jesus and God is so far away. Like, like, who means, no, uh, especially when, when you're, when you're, um, um, when you are waiting for the, for the, uh, healing or pray, uh, waiting for the answered, uh, uh, an answer for your prayers. Sometimes, no, um, 
we are tempted to feel frustrated no kasi parang napakalayo ng ginoo parang kal- napakalayo niya no but he is here with us present it's just that we don't recognize or we refuse to recognize or we are in denial that Jesus is always here with us so i'm going to read to you no the reflection from the marino das marinas no um this is uh, do you know john okay at kilala natin si john john the baptist the people during jesus's time thought that john was the promised messiah but john humbly told them that he was not hindi naman talaga siya eh. after john was beheaded jesus started his three year public ministry after na ng death ni, ni, ni John. Jesus called for repentance, just like John. No? Jesus called for repentance, healed the sick, gave hope to the hopeless, and the like. But they still found fault, and they did not believe. Mga tao, they don't believe in Jesus. This is due to the scheming of the high priest and those who were in the position of authority. Whatever Jesus does, no, ayaw maniwala ng mga scribes and Pharisees, no? And uh, in fact, not only hindi siya naniwala, no, gina-oppose pa nila. Because they are authorized, they are the learned, they are the intelligent, they are the smart people. In this season of Advent, Jesus calls us to believe in Him, to learn from Him, to have hope and to give hope on His behalf, and to repent from our sins. As we witness for, for Jesus, Satan will tempt us to place ourselves Per, uh, prominently in front rather than Jesus. Satan will, Satan will tempt us to claim for ourselves the wisdom that we have. But let us fight these temptations by looking at John, by following his humility and fidelity towards Jesus. As John said, it is necessary that we must increase and I must decrease. This is according to John uh, 3, no? Verse 30. This must also be our guiding principle. Jesus must always shine brightly in our lives. As for us, let us fade away, allowing Jesus to take the center stage so that the faith he gave us will continue to grow and bear much fruit. Amen. 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 So good example, si, si John. Very, very good example si John the Baptist no? in today's gospel. No? Um, we have to follow him. No, His faith is tremendous. He is so, he is so, um, ano nga? he is so trusting. His faith is tremendous and he paved the way. Nga. He paved the way. He prepared the way for the coming of the Messiah, for the coming of Jesus. So, and 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 then according to some homilist no na, na ano ko may isang homilist na sabi na just i just what i have uh, um said before no nandiyan na nga inandiyan na Elijah was already sent out Elijah was already sent and then and then hindi pa na recognize ng mga tao they're still waiting for the messiah kasi nga sabi Elijah will will come back and then the messiah will will come before the messiah comes Elijah will come again Elijah muna and then the Messiah. They don't believe that Elijah already came back. They don't believe that Elijah already came back in the person of John the Baptist. So that means that hindi sila naniwala kay Jesus as the Messiah. Kasi they're still waiting for Elijah to come back. Kaya I think, ang... uh, JK, there are two, there are two persons, there are two persons in the Bible that uh, have that died they were just uh, reappearing and reappearing in in our lives elijah is one of them one of them is elijah elijah they said elijah didn't really die yes oh, yun, oh yeah i i have read that Tito john thank you oh. so in, in in if we connect gas, the gospel today's gospel in in uh, in today's life now modern life natin are we aware of the presence of god are we aware of the presence of Jesus in our life? Yun. Are we aware? 
Oh, we... Jesus is everywhere. Jesus is everywhere. Every moment of our life, no, every moment in our life, Jesus is there. Because if we look back, no, if we, if we look back, no, sa mga little things, ba, little things. If we look back, no, Jesus is really here with us. Kahit nga mag-ano ka lang, mag, magbantay ka ng taxi, tapos the, the, tapos hindi ka na late sa appointment because the taxi came, the, the cab came, no? Yun. Guided yun. Ano sa kanan natin? Kumisan, wala ka ng pera. Well, gusto mong kumain, gusto mong mga ganito, you cannot go out. And then all of a sudden, kakatok ang neighbor mo na ito, nag-share ng, ng food niya. Anong tawag dyan? <laughs> mga simple things ba? Kung minsan, mga, 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 mga reminder, nag-hi ka lang ng isang tao doon. You already gave him a good smile. Hindi mo hindi mo alam na you, na na ang taong yun is depressed na pala and then your smile tightened up his day mga ganyan ba And then sometimes no you have the, the last money that you have no ah uh, mahihingi sa iyo tapos hindi mo alam na may pera ka tingnan mo sa sa bulsa mo may pera pala yun may, ikaw ang instrument ng God to help that person asking help from you mga mga little talaga mga little things ako ako Tita MJ I have experienced it uh, last week oh please that, go ahead huh? I have uh, a court hearing and uh, I before the the hearing started I I touched the holy ro the rosary in my pocket and I prayed one Our Father, one Hume Hail Mary, one Glory Be. And I asked uh, the God, the Holy Spirit, to guide me in what I will answer when I will sit in the witness stand. And uh, to my amaze, uh, when the when the judge came out, uh, he was he was good he was good at me he smiled at me and uh, all the uh, no, all the the questions of the opponent our opponent is being blocked by him and it is uh it clearly uh if I will it and interpret it, it was favorable for me. And I could see our opponent, the lawyer of our opponent, uh, crumpling his face in despair because oh. he could see that uh, the judge is favoring me. And, and when the judge asked me, of what is my uh, my my opinion? So I told him that uh, my opinion is uh, whenever the whenever the the case was uh, when the case was started nine four years ago, the the price of that the 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 road right of way will be based during those times and he agreed and then close uh close the the session so i was thankful to the to god the father and and god lord jesus christ and the holy spirit for all the the favors that i have experienced during that time amen Amen. Yeah. Uh -oh. See, little things lang. Because of your faith, siguro tito Jude, because you touched the Holy Rosary. So that makes you entrust, inter you entrusted oh, the, so, the, the, that very moment, no? You, you entrusted yeah, have, everything to God. I have read, I have read that uh, whenever someone, uh, the, the words of Jesus, that whenever you go 
to anyone, to any place, or when they question you, just ask the Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will answer for you. That is what I have read in the Bible. Yeah, oh, interesting. Oh, you entrust everything to Him, no? and that's the yeah. Holy Spirit guiding. Oh. Thank you, Tito. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Tita course, may ano ka? You have something? I think the theme of our uh, of our discussion tonight, of our sharing tonight, is how to recognize God and His ways when we encounter them in our daily life. Um, it's, it's not easy to be able to do that because uh, we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit for us to be able to discern to do that. It requires a special way of looking at things because we, given a thing, we have different choices. Do we look at it kindly, at the situation kindly? Do we look at it with a bias in our mind? Do we look at it with indifference? Or do we look at it uh, with charity in our heart? Okay, and it is the, the one with the charity in our heart that Jesus wants us to do each and every time. But um, it takes a special uh, way of looking at things and a special way of thinking for us to do this like spontaneously each time. In my experience, um, what facilitated it, I'm not saying that I'm doing it very, very well, okay? But at least, you know, I find myself reminding, I find myself reminding my own self uh, by saying, okay, watch what you think, watch what you say. I started doing this after I read um, the Bible. First, when I was started reading the Bible, I couldn't understand. But it's true. If you keep reading it and reading it, never mind if you don't understand everything in it. But if you keep reading it with the hope and with the aim of understanding it, the day will come when everything will click into place. When you read one thing, and you are able, by the help of the Holy Spirit, you are able to connect it with the other things that you read before. And this is how the way we look at things, this is the way, this is how the way we react to situations uh, will happen. So, uh, like a week, a week ago, I read something that says, um, be careful about getting angry. Okay. Be careful about getting angry. The moment you allow yourself to be angry, the moment you allow anger into your heart, it will affect the way you think, it will affect the way you talk, it will affect the Everything. way you react. Mm -hmm. And And then, uh, the author said, we get angry because we feel as if we are being personally assaulted or being personally insulted or being personally attacked. And, and, and he said, how do we then minimize this interpretation that um, I am being attacked here, this person is putting me down, is insulting me. 
this is also like a repetition of what I said last night. Don't take things personally all the time. It's not about us all the time. Most of the time, it's about the other person. The feeling of other person. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you, you, you just, and also, um, Libano, sometimes you are tempted to do things, you are tempted to say things, which we know is not uh, really kind, which we know is not really good. And um, after reading that thing saying, um, when you are in that situation and you don't really want to commit the sin, it's very easy, ask for help. Ask for help. Say, Jesus, please help me. Help me not to offend you. And when the moment the moment we focus our attention to Jesus, the temptation dissipates. Because we really cannot think of uh, more than one thing at a time. So if we shift our attention to God, all the others disappear. That's, that's my... That's my sharing for tonight. Okay, amen. Thank you. Oh, amen. amen. Thank you very much, Sita, for very, very, very true. Oh, very true. Oh. And sometimes it takes uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, praying and Holy uh, Holy Spirit guidance. But until you feel, until you see the presence of God in our life, which is like. Uh, ano, if you are prayerful, no, if you if you are prayerful talaga. Um, um per personally, no, um itong um di this ministry, no, it's it, it has been going on only for uh, three years pa lang. Pero it made a difference in in most of our life, no? It made a big difference, no? Uh, nagiging kalma ka, nagiging you think twice it, it, it's true tita course, no? Don't decide. Don't decide when you are angry. Most of the time, ang 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 decision mo is mali. Mm -hmm. And then pra hot. And then and then if you are prayerful, no. And uh, we we talk about gospel. We speak about gospels and reflections every day, no. Three hundred sixty-five days a year. Ah, uh, ma melt ang heart mo, and then you 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 now become um uh you know you know how to pray, no. You you know how to pray and um. You realize you would your your faith will 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 become strong or stronger. Tapos ang trust mo and then um ang prayer ano mo ang pagka prayerful mo ba? You you know how to pray. Mm -hmm. You you know how to pray because now you realize that prayer is your communication to God. Yun ang mga lessons natin ma-learn sa daily reading gospel natin. No? And um, ito nga, uh, be a light, just like John the Baptist, no? be a light to the truth. Yun. Be a light. And that light of uh, John the Baptist ca um, comes from the light of God. And then he understands no? and he promotes, promotes the, the light and he lives in it. And then spread this light to others. Yun ang yung ano sa yun ang lesson na uh, homily sa sa word of the day no ang word of the day ni Father Richard Lagos no uh, is um, leadership. Leadership. Yes. Uh, be be a good leader, not the leader of political leader, not even um a spiritual leader, just like the priest. Be a good leader of yourself. Yeah. Yes, I have uh -oh. written some. Oh, uh, please go ahead, Dita Helen. What you have uh, under yes. uh, understood but, about uh, the Father Lagos? Uh, for Father Richard, we were. Uh, it's uh, the the keyword is leadership, hmm. and then we we have the gift of leadership. Nobody is born to be a leader. Leaders are made. We are called to be leaders. We are not born to be a leader, but we are made to become leader. Leading our own selves, lead a good life, 
in spite of all trials and difficulties. Example, Saint John, Saint John, according, serve as light or tanglaw, mamnamumuhay sa liwanag, in order to lighten others. God is inviting us to live by the light, which is Jesus. Number two, leading by His own example. We have, we live what we preach. Uh, there are so many people who are opinionated. May laging sinasabi, buhay niya ay, buhay natin ay nagsasalita kung ano tayo. And number three, the, um, we are also uh, bringing ourselves to Jesus. Um, St. John is the, tried his best to, to bring us to Jesus. Amen. 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 So the good leader, no, the, what are the qualities of a good leader? The good leader has a, has a good life, no? Lead by example or live by example or lead by your own example. And like Jesus, no? Um, bring your disciples or your friends or your families to Jesus. Yun. Lead be a life, lead a good life. Be compassionate. Uh, by, be compassionate or oh, good life, yan. Oh, be be a good leader to yourself. Yes. Yun ang leadership na word of the day ni Father Lagos. Amen. So we hope no, we hope that the life of uh, John the Baptist we follow the life of John the Baptist no na na be a good leader sa sa self natin be a good leader and then and live live on it. You live what you live what you preach. And then you you invite friends and especially family members, no, um, to that light, and the light is Jesus. Amen. So in order, in order for this, no, uh, for, uh, for this, no, to be a good leader, no, have a have a personal a relationship with God through prayers. Yeah, if you have a good relationship with God. You will have uh, by praying every day by meditate meditation and everything your your relationship with God will be stronger and then you know you will as you will become like Him. We you will I mean not not that you become God also but but all these are uh, good qualities and the uh, and the um, compassion love uh, for forgiveness mga ganyan ba yun it's so easy na ma-achieve ma din natin. So, if you have that, no, you are a good leader to your life. Amen. Amen. But, uh, you still have to pass purgatory. Yeah, yeah, it's, there's no question about that Tito Jun because you are, you are, uh, ano ka, uh, responsible ka sa mga ginagawa. Uh -oh. we, ha we have to pass. And, uh, let let try our best no not to um not to um not to cause um um sadness to Jesus no because he suffered so much for us no and look at look at your image of Jesus no kawawa oh yeah i have read, i have read the time j that uh, you can request you can request god to serve your uh, sufferings in purgatory, you can request him to let you suffer while here on earth. I think what I think what uh, the equivalent of that is what the saints uh, ha have been telling us and that is that let's stop complaining about how we feel let's stop complaining about our illnesses and our problems and instead bear them with bear them with love in fact they say love your cross embrace your cross don't embrace your cross uh -uh. Don't keep complaining, but instead, um, bear it with love, 
and offer, offer. whatever offer. suffering Some... you have in atonement for your sins. So uh -huh. that is equivalent of trying to reduce your stay in purgatory, in purgatory. I think. That's how I uh -huh. understand it. Yeah, uh -huh. I heard already, that. Uh -huh. If you already yeah. have atoned for some of your venial sins, then because the way I understand it is um, people go, the souls go to purgatory because they have venial sins. Uh -huh. And only we can be only purified. atone. We can only atone for the venial sins because the mortal sins we have to confess and then do the penance for that prescribed by the priest, prescribed by Jesus through the priest, the priest. So I think that's that's how it that's that's what I understand anyway. But going back to to this um, the gospel today. Um, the, the author said that uh, we should always pray because the problem of many people is that they cannot see God. They cannot sense God. They cannot feel God. So it's hard for them to believe that there's a God. So the author said that we should always pray for guidance of the Holy Spirit and with the help of Blessed Mother so that the way we live our life, the way we talk, the way the way we deal with others will make it possible for everyone who comes across us during that day to feel God in us, to sense God's goodness in us. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, of course, beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 true. Whatever sufferings we have here on earth, um, whatever sufferings, no, let's offer, let's offer to God, at least no for um for the reparation of your sins, no committed, so that your purification starts here on earth. Mm -hmm. Buhay ka pa, may purification ka na. Yun din ang yun din ang mga ma makikita natin ang mga mga ano ng sufferings no they they are they they are sufferings no hindi naman siguro na uh, I'm not saying na nagasuffer ito may may sakit ito kasi makasalanan siya hindi naman pero be humble no be humble don't ask God why just offer all your sufferings to Him in reparation for your sins. That's how you deal sufferings. That's how you deal trials in life. That's how you deal pains. Because following Jesus, following Jesus, no, doesn't mean that you, you will have an easy life. No. Hindi. Iba. So let's just be uh, let's just be prayerful as we have said before. No, let's be prayerful so that we'll have a good relationship with God. So that we we discern, we sense, we feel His presence in our life, Amen. Amen. Our our cross that we are carrying here now is is but a small fragment of what Jesus Christ have suffered hmm. suffered oh, yeah. because. Uh, as we are suffering for our sins, while Jesus is suffering for all the sins of mankind. Amen. 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 So thank you very much, Tita Helen, Tito June, Tita Lynn, Miga Bilen, Tita Kors. Thank you very much uh, for the closing prayer. Yes. Thank you ahead. Heavenly Father, we come before you with love and adoration. We thank you for gathering us today, tonight, to worship you. Help us to do so with generous and joyful hearts. We honor you, Lord, with good and pleasing hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And, all, and all together, please, glory be to the Father, glory to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.